Getting the game started. Ian Kensler at the plate. Slider just misses one and all. A look at the lifetime numbers. He's 260 against the Tigers. 1 0 on the way. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. That's one down. Well, they followed the advanced scouting reports to a T. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. And we've got Andrus batting. Elvis Andrus had a breakout year in 2010, and he continued to build wow. on that with another strong Ooh. outing in 2011. He has everything you want from a guy near the top of the order a lot of speed and a good eye. And Andrus, three straight years now for him. We has topped 30 stolen bases, 37 picked up last year. You know, he's so young and athletic. He's going to continue to grow and read the pitchers, but that speed is explosive. And where the power fell back a little bit, I think he's got power oh. in that bat. We're going to see more of it in the future. Hit on the dirt. Rayburn. Oh. Now it's two down. Now with two outs. A chance here for Josh Hamilton. There's a swing and a smash. Jackson. And he's there to retire the side. Well, it was a quick inning right there. Seven pitchers. And you Darvish is the pitcher. Texas has him starting. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be against this Detroit powerhouse? Well, against a lineup like this, even though you've got a good right-hander on the mound, he's got a swing and a line drive. And That's one yeah. away. It's Dirks at the plate. Well, the Tigers still have a sour taste in their mouth from getting knocked out of the playoffs last year by the Texas Rangers. A tough way to go out. Game one, one run game. Then extra inning losses in games two and four. A great matchup that just came up a little short. That series, Tigers Rangers last year, going into it, it looked like the Tigers were set. They had an emotional win over the Yankees. In round one, the pitching staff was lined up, didn't well, work. You know what? You got to credit the Rangers bullpen, though. All the difference in the world. The first three losses, they only scored one run off the Texas Rangers relievers in wow. 19 innings. That bullpen shut that Tigers lineup down. Good wood hits it right back up through the pitcher. And he throws to first in time, out number two. Two outs and in the box, Miguel Cabrera. The pitch. Cabrera will foul that one away. Here's the pitch. Cabrera again fouling it off. Cabrera hit this hard. He heads all the way back to the warning track and gets the out. And so out of the inning, only eight pitchers.
in the air. And that's another foul ball. Here's the delivery. They can't connect on that one. Nelson Cruz comes up empty on the swing. Quick inning for Doug Fister. And Prince Fielder up. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Hamilton's going to play it. Able to glide over. Not much of a problem on that one. Well, they followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make oh. the catch. Good coaching. And it's Delman Young now. With Delman Young on the move last year, as Minnesota sent him to division round with Detroit, and he seemed to fit in perfectly with that Tiger team, helping them make a lot of noise in October. One one on the way. Fastball gets away from him there. Two and one. Delman Young for the Tigers really proved to be a difference. They finally were able to settle down that left field position. Oh, he made a major impact in the postseason as well. Five home runs between two playoff series, and he did it while he was injured as well. That's two gone. Now with two outs, here's a chance for Alex Avila. And it goes foul. He sends this one in the air towards center. And there's the third out. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. Still nobody on the board here. In and in the batter's box, it's Murphy. He'll get things going here in the third. That's a foul ball. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ground ball. Rayburn. One away. Well, oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. I mean, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. It's got to be Napoli. Well, what a year for Mike Napoli in Texas. First year with them, and even in limited chances, he put up 30 homers and had a career high in both batting average and on-base percentage and slugging. Unbelievable. Oh. Napoli will file that one away. Talking about Napoli, the bat was so good, the question became, where do we play him? He ended up DHing, catching first base, had to get him in the line. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And that'll be in there for Texas, their first hit. Can you say self-defense? This pitch is coming way inside here. Can you say watch your knuckles, because that's where that pitch was. Can you say base hit? Yeah. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. Two men have been put away. Well, for the Rangers, it tells you something about their team as to what they did. A complete ball club in 2011 with that road work. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Kinsler. The opportunity for offense is right now. Well, real solid approach, trying to work gap to gap up the middle of the field. Gets a swing and lined up the middle. And it's through. That's a base hit for Andrus. And Napoli's on his way home. Up next, Josh Hamilton. Well, now he's coming up to the plate with the bases loaded. You see that single right there, Gary. Loads up the bases, and he's hit in the air to center field. And that'll put him on another hit. And Napoli comes in to score. And he scores. Boy, he felt he could make it easily. He did. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Well, I like the fact that he stayed calm in this situation. He stayed back, and he drove that ball with a lot of confidence in that swing. Made sure he could get into second safely. But more importantly, they now lead 2 to nothing with those RBIs. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got about 0-1 right now. You know, typically he comes back with an 0-1 fastball. As a hitter, you've got to sit on that pitch and let the driver. Didn't take too long to get some good wax. And Johnny Peralta to lead it off. 
the pitch. A line drive towards short. On oh, that one eats him up. And he throws it wide. So they can't make the play. Manny takes off for second. Oh, and a wild throw. And we've got Bosch batting. A bit of a break here right now, Gary. The fact that there are runners on base, but this guy tends to struggle a little bit at the plate. There's a swing in contact. This one to Hamilton. That's one away. It's Rayburn at the plate. But with the way he's come alive after the break the last few years, Ryan Rayburn is making a name for himself as a second-half hitter. He always plays well after the All-Star break. Two away. Well, this ball was headed to the gap, but the left fielder got a good jump on it, able to run it down and make the play. An RBI chance for Austin Jackson. Grounded out his last time up. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. And Peralta comes in to score. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did. That pays off. Hit that one right back up the middle. Oh, Andres with a pickup. Throw in time. Forces him at second for the third. Michael Young leading it off. And here's the first one. That swung on, hit on the ground. Peralta with the pickup. One away. And it's Nelson Cruz at the plate. One away. 0 for 1 so far. Could change that if he can get a hit off Fister. Well, struck out of the. Hit sharply towards the hole. And it's through. Base hit for Cruz. That's going to bring up David Murphy. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one out base hit. Grounded out his last time through. Swings hits this one. It's going to be fielded by Jackson. That's two gone. Oh, he got a pitch to hit right there, but just a little bit out in front. Sends an easy fly ball to center field for the out. And so with two outs in the inning, here's Mike Napoli. He singled and later scored in his last time up. A moment here for Texas. Can they get it done? Got to love that first pitch fastball right where he wanted. He was thinking right back up the middle. Base hit the center. And Torrey Alba's batting. He flew out his last time up. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Steady numbers, 3 for 6 lifetime against Fister. And he's in trouble. He's tagged out between first and second. And here's Miguel Cabrera to lead it off. 0 for 1 thus far. Head up the middle. And that gets the tying run on board. That will bring up Prince Fielder. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. Well, we all know Prince Fielder can hit home runs. I mean, it's some of the most prodigious home runs you will see. Those high lofting shots that go about 450 feet. But what people don't understand is he's a guy who can walk a lot. He's There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. There's the throw. Fantastic chance here. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And Andrus is able to make the play. Throw is there, and he is out. Well, that's a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. Well, this is a make. There's a swing, line drive, center field. That's in. The run should score. It'll tie it up. And they get the tying run home. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down in the swing to get that low ball to be able to pick up the hit. And it's Johnny Peralta in the box now. You know, sometimes you get offense when you don't need it. This time they got it right when they needed it. There's a swing, and that one's hit on the ground. Over to second for one. And he has driven home the run on that base hit. 
Just find a way to get the runner in whenever you can, and that's what this offense does. Good, solid approach and at bat right there. And we've got Bosch batting. Well, they've done themselves quite a job here. This is a nice push at this point of the ball game to get out in front. Look, you can't always get on the board early, and sometimes you have to play from behind, but when you do get an early lead and the offense is starting to get things going, it just feels like a positive day. Foul. It's fouled away. He deals. Foul. And he fouls another one off. He swings now and really hit that. And Hamilton's going to play it. And the side's retired as they head into the dugout. They pick up two, three hits. Strand it's Ian Kinsler to lead it off. How's he attacking on the first delivery? Let's look here. You throw strike one, you get out. You tell pitchers that, but now they get a chance to see it. He's retired nine batters after going 0-1 in the count on And another foul ball. Now Avila sets up. You're Got out. him. One away. Aguirre, he's not messing around. Going right at him on the 0-2 count. He didn't waste anything. He just went right for the juggler. Elvis Andrus is batting here. One away. He singled his last trip. Rayburn. Yeah. Two down. A well-hit ball. The second baseman easily takes care of it, though. Throws it over. This guy makes it look easy. And Josh Hamilton to bat. He doubled home a couple in his last at bat. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. Well, I have to go out of the strike zone here on the 0-1 count. He tends to be very aggressive here. See if you can't get him to chase. Headed for the middle. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. That's going to bring up Adrian Beltre. Well, you would have to think with the speed that's on first base right now that they'll put him in motion to try to make things happen here in this game. Last time up, flew up. Strike started off the at bat 0 and 1. 364 lifetime number against Fister. To left center. And he's there to retire the sun. Good Fister. It's Rayburn at the plate. Steve, what are the numbers for him on the mound today? Now these ground balls coming out because his right-hander really changing Great speeds, block. moving the ball around, changing the hitter's eye level, and pounding the bottom third of the strike zone. Putt shot towards the hole. Yeah. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. So with the one away, here's Austin Jackson. Well, sophomore year for Austin Jackson in 2011, he built on some things and continued to grow, but still has a lot of work to do, including the strike zone. And as we mentioned with Jackson, 181 Ks for him last year. He's certainly, John, going to want to bring that down. Smash towards the middle. And in there, he's two for three today. Well, a little action going right now for this team. A single here with one out. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can bring him across. Here's one hit very well deep. And Hamilton's going to play it. As he just strolls over for that out. That's about as easy as it gets. He could have caught that one in his back pocket. Runner on for Miguel Cabrera. Well, we've seen Darvish look very confident. Great. Swung on. Hit down the line and left. It has a chance. And goodbye home run. The Detroit Tigers put up some more. A little distance now, increasing their lead, one to three. Uh, Detroit just looking to tack on more runs. They better shut it down before it gets away from them. Now we saw that uh, wild throw there. Now he's on base. Well, sometimes the fastball just gets on you, and you can't get out of the way. No, that one lofted in the air. And Hamilton's going to play it. And that's out number three. And they had a couple more runs. Michael Young at the plate. The first pitch. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. 
And he gets over to take care of it. Well, he hit this one well, but it hangs up long enough to give the left fielder just enough time to run underneath and make the catch. And stepping up to the plate, here's Nelson Cruz. The big thing with Nelson Cruz is making sure that he's healthy come playoff time. And fortunately for the Rangers, that was the case as they fought their way back to the World Series. The pitch. Oh, and that one runs in and hit him. Well, that fastball had teeth on it. It just took a bite out of that guy. That's going to bring up David Murphy. Look, Garris, we saw that hitter get hit with the pitch right there. It's just a mechanical issue. He'll get that ironed out a little bit, but I don't think it's intentional, certainly. And now we'll see if he can regroup here and get control of that pitch. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. The opportunity for offense is right now. Steve, sometimes that pitch down the middle you want to drive, he chose to take it the other way. Well, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. Starts him off with one at the knees for a strike. Steve, let's take a look at what we've got from the pitcher. Uh, what happens when you pound the bottom of the zone? Uh, what happens? You get a lot of ground ball out. Just take a look at how tough he's been on these guys. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. And it gets down. That should bring home Cruz. All the way to the wall. And Cruz comes in. And Murphy follows him home. He'll pull in to third. That's a two RBI three bagger. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. And Torrey Alba's batting. Not a lot of time left. Not a lot of outs to work with. Focus here on every at-bat. And a ground ball. Cabrera. Yeah. On to first. Two away. Well, there's a lot riding in Ian Kinsler's bat right here. You can see he's determined to come up big. We'll Trying again here. Just one for three thus far. That one fouled off by Kinsler. Oh. Swing and a hot shot. Oh, he's got it. Oh. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And so Doug. And it's Alex Avila to lead us off. And now let's take a look at a breakdown of how this guy has been mixing up his pitches so far in this one. What stands up? Swing, hot shot. Andres with a pickup. That's one down. And it's Johnny Peralta at the plate with one down. 0 for 2 in this one. Still has not had any success against Darby. A swing line to left center. And it's through. Credit Peralta, base hit. That's going to bring Brennan Bosch to the plate. But one out and a man on first base. That big single right there gives them a couple outs to work with to see if they can push him across the board. Flew out last time. And there's one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. It's Rayburn at the plate. Swing and a drive, very high, in the air, deep left center field. And he drops back to the warning track to pull it in. Well, how about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. Tremendous. And we've got Andrus batting. Let's take a look here at how he's been mixing up his pitches so far in this game. Yeah, and that's why he's not been successful. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Peralta with the pickup. And that'll retire Andrus. And it's Josh Hamilton at the plate. One away. Well, Josh Hamilton was a first-round draft pick by the Tampa Bay Rays, and last year after he helped... And Hamilton into that ball. That's out of here. Goodbye home run, and the Rangers go on top. And they did exactly what they wanted to do with that big fly ball. They've evened it up. Now, we don't talk about momentum a lot in baseball, but it has clearly shifted in this game. All tied up right now, but you have to credit the Rangers' offense. Looks like things are starting to click. Here's a swing. Line drive down the left field line. Out of here. Goodbye home run. Just what they needed at a crucial time. They get the run up on the board, breaking the tie with a solo homer. How can you not enjoy seeing what the Rangers have done right here? I mean, they are swinging. 
the bats. Taking charge in a big way. They're back out in front. Swing and a rocket towards short. And Peralta is able to get to that one. So Nelson Cruz will try to keep this going. Well, you know, sometimes pitchers just don't have their good stuff. And for Fister, this is one of those days. We'll uh, take a quick look here at how he's been mixing up his placement of pitches. Yeah, I mean, Gary, this breakdown on his location is very representative of the poor showing today on the mound that he's had. He sort of got locked into a predictable sequence, and you just can't do that. Well, you've got to stay one step ahead of the hitters. You have to make adjustments, and when they look in, you've got to throw away. He's not getting it done today. And Nelson Cruz strikes out. He couldn't make contact on that one. So they get the long ball working as they have... It's going to be Jackson now. His last at bat, he picked up a single off Darvish. And two hits coming off of two fastballs. Uh, we had a hunch he'd be able to get around on the fastball, and that has definitely been the case right here. No issues with timing whatsoever. Here's the delivery. He'll leave that one alone. Austin Jackson, patience, and an even count. Uh, down by one. Nobody out here in the seventh inning. You want to try to get somebody on base and, and get a little bit of a rally because within one, you want to be able to time it and maybe take the lead. So play for a big inning right here. Well, just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. It's Dirks at the plate. He's hitless thus far. And Murphy makes it happen. What a play. It's Miguel Cabrera. Here we go with a little breakdown on the types of pitches. Back up the middle. It's picked up. There's one. And two. They got both of them that time. So no runs on one. David Murphy leading it off. Single and scored his last time around. Liner towards the hole. And he gets that one down. His second hit. Two for four today. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get up. And a ground ball. Cabrera. Yeah. And that'll set down Napoli. Boy, I, you know, might have been able to get the out at second, at least getting the lead runner. But at least they got the sure out at first. And Torrey Alba's batting. He bounced out his last time. And Cabrera gloves that one. Boy, it's different when you're playing third base. It's one thing if the ball comes at you fast and you're a hitter because you expect it. It's hard to read it off the bat. You have to have great. That swung on line towards the gap in left center. He dives and an acrobatic catch. What a play. They pick up. And Prince Fielder will lead it off. Hit by a pitch his last time up. He wants to get some hacks in here. And the first pitch. And that one is struck. Hamilton to field. One away. And Young's in the box. He flew out his last time up. Here's the pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, I think for the pitcher's perspective, keep the ball down. Keep it in the ballpark and keep it out of the gap. Force them to hit singles and lump hits together. Fouled off. Foul! You're out. And a swing and a miss. Strike three on Delvin Young. Got him to chase that ball down and away. Good pitch. Not real good execution by the hitter. Avila will get his chance at the plate now. Drove in a run earlier in the game. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed 0-1. Look okay, here, with one out here remaining in the eighth inning, you've got to try to do something offensively. And I think that with two outs, even if you hit a single, you've got to think double out of the batter's box. Force them to make a play. Get yourself in scoring position. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. Well, they get a man on here with two outs. And now, a double in the gap can tie this game. And here is Johnny Peralta. There's a swing and a smash. And that's the third out. Hamilton grabs it. No runs on a hit. And they'll... 
and welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And we've got Andrus batting. He'll start the night. And here's the pitch. And he will let that one alone. Elvis Andrus, patience and an even count. There's a ground ball. And it's through. That's a base hit for Andrus. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. It's Josh Hamilton. He is just swings, and there's a drive. Very deep, high, right center field. And it's gone. Goodbye home run for Texas. Their offense is on today. A little distance now, increasing their lead, one to three. Now this game continues. Beltre hits this one. One down. One away. Michael Young gets set. Now one of the keys to a successful day on the mound. Can you generate strikes going outside the strike zone? Here's a look at what we've seen today. Well, it's been a rough day for him on the mound so far. You recognize the lack of effectiveness of pitches out of the zone. The hitters just aren't fooled, John. No, they're not being fooled at all, and that's a great thing if you're a hitter. You can just set on pitches, wait for the one you want, and know you're going to put a good swing on it and make things happen. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And Young's got himself a single. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a swung on line to right center field. This one beyond him. It's going to be extra bases. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. The throw. And he's in there. Tremendous base running. This Texas offense, multiple chances here. Well, that's another insurance run for them right there. And now a little more breathing room as they head to the bottom of the ninth. And in the batter's box, it's Murphy. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. Bosch is there. And he gets over. And here comes the runner for the plate. And Cruz comes in. Solid approach at the plate. Did not try to do too much right there. Didn't think he had to swing it and hit out of the ballpark. Make contact and get a run in. It's got to be Neff. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. Jackson. And that one's put away to retire the side. Go for double. Leading it off, Brennan Bosch. 0 for 3 to this point. And the first pitch makes contact. Uh, it is going to be fouled. Uh, fly ball deep and off to the left. Brennan Bosch not fooled by that pitch. The count is now evened up. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning. And they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. The left center, and that'll put Bosch on first. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. And Murphy's going to play it. He has to back up for it, comes away with the out. There's one on here for Austin Jackson. You'll love having a game like this. Three for four today against him. Lined up the middle, and he drops it. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. It's Dirks at the plate. 0 for four in this one. 
He fouls that one off. The pitch. That second pitch cuts on a fastball, misses, and it's 0-2. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. Here it comes. Hit up the middle. That one gets through for a base hit. That'll bring Miguel Cabrera up. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And, keep... and a fly ball could be the last out. That's going to be a wrap. Final out of the ball game. Texas gets the victory here, and they played some good, solid baseball all around. Now a chance for a little recognition here. Let's take a look at our player of the game. What a pleasure to witness a ball game like we saw today from Josh Hamilton. Well, anytime you have three legs of the cycle, you know you've had a decent enough game to help your team win. Look, would he have loved to hit the triple to get the cycle, something that's rarely done in Major League Baseball? Sure he would. But I think if you ask him after the game, he's going to say, look, all I want to do is help our team win. And that's what he did with those big, big hits. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road to have this 